No intro on this, John. I'm getting straight to it. First and foremost, peace and paradise, fat G's. Young brother got his life taken last night, right in the middle of the month of Ramadan. You know, um, we seen flicks and all that with him. You know, he had his been, you know, having his throw born and all that. And um, you know, with him striving, may Allah subhanahu with the island grant him immediate access to paradise. For him going out during the month of Ramadan and trying to be a striving Muslim. I'm going to start it off like this, but before I get into this story of what the news had put out there, I got to say this, Philly, y'all supporters of, of these platforms with things that's going on, and I'm not saying that this had anything to do with no rap beef or nothing like that. I'm not speaking on that, but what I am speaking on is when people were sitting up here instigating and trying to put batteries in people's backs, just like y'all all been all laughing jokes, bro, laughing jokes when, when academics is doing what he was doing. And for the people that was going up to academics, I can't be upset at the youngin. You know, the, the young and pound side pop, he, he, you know, he's a young boy, bro. And young boys, they, you know, they, they don't, they don't look at things like a person that's 35 and up should look at it. Uh, you know, the younger guys that's in their twenties, yeah, they, they're going to do that. You know, they really come from that internet era. But, you know, for the older guys that, you know, go on platforms and stuff like that, to people that don't even come from what we come from. Y'all y'all people running up there that the act and all of that. And I gotta say this. Act not even from America. I also had to say that Act is not from the streets. He don't understand the streets from besides what he learned through rappers. You can't understand something that you ain't come from. Now, my whole thing is this. I don't want to get off a topic because, you know, this story don't got nothing to do with that. This is just like everyday Philly stuff, everyday stuff that's happening with, with young brothers getting their life taken. So I don't want y'all to get this mixed up. But this just goes to me of saying that you have somebody like Act that's showing love to artists for interviews that he would have never interviewed no other time in life, bro. You know, um, he go up there and, you know, he play good cop, bad cop with people. And people just so focused on the views and everything that they will go up there and, you know, you going at somebody like Meek where you might be like Meek. Oh, he don't come through the city. He don't, he don't be outside. He don't pull up on this block. Why should he? Why should he? Since when do it make sense for a millionaire, a person that touch M's, that's a public figure, to keep coming and chilling in hoods? If you from Philly, I don't care what nobody say. Nobody from Philly could never say that Meek wasn't in the city. All that early, you know what I'm saying, situation with MMG, all them early... All, I can say at least all the way up to like 2018, 2017, 2018. People know they didn't see Meek 12 o'clock and down Broad Street with a hundred people with bikes. I'm talking about back when people like Dirt Bike Rail and them was still out here and stuff like that. How long do you gotta prove that you solid? How long do you gotta prove that I can be on this block? I can be on this block. How long before you gotta prove it till you end up like Nipsey? So for anybody to ever say that somebody that's the, bro, the goal, this is how twisted it is. And this is why I said, I can't blame none of the young boys. The young boys, they, they got a different outlook at life. But y'all dudes that's 35 and up, if y'all seeing somebody ain't outside, if y'all seeing, oh, this person is from this hood, but he ain't been there. And that's the goal. 
from the last I remember, bro, coming from the streets, you supposed to get to a bag and get out. Whether you get a career, because most people is not going to be famous. Whether you get in any predicament, you supposed to get out. And you a fool if you older and you just standing around for nothing, bro. If I'm cutting through the city, it got to be two things involved. Money or family. Other than that, you know what I'm saying? Going to get like a grub or something like that. But I'm 30 plus, bro. I'm not about to be standing on no block that I know. 05, 04, 03. You know what I'm saying? All of these years when I was a young boy. And I was out there because I ain't had no choice because, you know what I'm saying, these was my neighborhoods. Whether we was tying somebody up or whatever the situation was, those was experiences. I'm not about to be 36, 37, 38, 35 out there still trying to prove that I could stand on this block and shoot somebody in their face if I got to. So we need to shut all that narrative down because y'all the same fans that was sitting on there crying and upset when Nipsey got killed. Y'all the same fans when when Draco the ruler, all these all of these guys, and, and I, I believe Draco got his life taken out of his show, but that just shows you that you know y'all y'all will entice something, try to put batteries in somebody back, and then when somebody get their life taken, y'all crying fake crying because none of y'all really losing no sleep over it but everybody want to throw up their rest in peace pictures what would academics do if he stirred up a beef and that same beef that he stirred up with a major artist end up getting a life taken and i'm talking about any artist not just you know philly i'm talking about period you see why he don't do that warren Chirac stuff no more you can't sit up here and instigate real street stuff that's really going on. And then when it happened, you like, oh, that's a shame. Why you sip sipping out of coconut, bro? You know what I'm saying? The same people that academics is bringing up on these platforms is the same people that academics could get them three million. He can get them two million. He can do this. He can do that. But I'm going to get into the story, man. Local rapper and Meek Mill collaborator Fat G's was shot and killed in North Philly Sunday night. Officers were called to the 1200 block of North Taney Street in the Fairmount section of the city at 1010. For those of y'all that don't know, oh well, it's already said Fairmount. You know what I mean? That's the that's down north. Sunday, after receiving report, reports of a person with a gun. Philadelphia said upon arrival, officers found Fat G's, whose real name is Derek Gant, was shot multiple times. According to police, he was taken to Penn Presbyterian Medical Center and was pronounced dead shortly after. Gant was 28 years old. He didn't even get a chance to make it to 30. He was out here advocating for peace. I didn't, it's crazy because he just did an interview like like last month. I can't remember the, the uh, platform, but it's these. It's like a group of young boys. They got a, a platform out Southwest. And with all the negativity going on, shout out to all y'all young boys. I see y'all, you know that, that's, you know, starting y'all podcast and all that. Investing y'all bread, trying to do some positivity. Shout out to y'all because it's a lot of people that, is in this city that you know is trying to stay away from that stuff it just so happened it's messed up of the generation that they in you know what i'm saying that 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 younger generation it's like that's all it is it's crash out time like i re remember growing up the state prop era and all that that state prop era the early 2000s you know um you hear about rappers getting punched on and stuff like that like I miss dumb days. I miss days where somebody sees somebody, they might have had an issue. It might have been a back and forth. Go up on that man and punch on that man. Throw him a one. Roll on him. Do whatever you got to do. Bro, you don't got to end nobody life, bro. You don't have to. You don't got to, bro. 
but it's just so sad because around the world it's so much drama going on where so many people got their lives taken that a lot of these beefs is not going to stop around this world until everybody is wiped out until half of the people is buried and the other half is in jail then you got somebody like fat g's where it's like you know he ain't do nothing but you know he was trying to push positivity he was trying to you know stop with all of the gun violence and stuff like that and then it's like how it is nowadays when the internet bro ain't don't it, they not shedding light on nothing that ain't got nothing to do with drama everybody gas king von up and i can't say gassed him up but they stroked that man eagle knowing he was already had credibility so now with the internet and you going live and then you got back and forth now you feel like it's mandatory to do something and you know look at what happened as far as him getting his life taken look at what happened with his whole circle that all got their life taken away from him in the prison system because they had a point to prove my whole thing is this it's to the point now where you know the young boys like you know whoever like y'all you know all that that's you know that doing the spinning and drilling bro it's not even no use of even rapping bro like it's not even no use of even rapping everything just need to remain in the streets you know um people was mad at me because meek said all y'all young boys need to y'all need to stop doing this and stop doing that and I'll put you on. The youngins felt as though they had no choice to do what they had to do, but Meek attempted to try to do something that most rappers don't try to do. Cause the average rapper that do got the ball in their city, they don't even got the, you know, the energy to even put that out there to their city and tell them, you know, to try to make a change to the stuff, you know, and, and, and that's why I respect Kali because Kali, bro, people say whatever they want, but Kali at the end of the day, they mainly put hands on people. Of course, people's lives get taken, but it, like rapper wise, and even when they beefing on the internet, they always talking about what you hear them say, we can squabble, we can do this, we can deep, we, you get DP, like it's more organized over there. When anybody know how Kali used to be, you know, back in the day, they was torching stuff. You know, it was like, it was worse than everything. It was worse than Chicago, Philly, all that. We talking about, you know, people riding around with, with, with AKs and, and all that. You know what I'm saying? Those high velocity joints and all that. Back then, when people in the inner cities, you might have came across a tech or something like that, a Uzi. But back then, they was rocking with choppers like it was nothing. But they even clinked their community up where a lot of gangs, they, you know, keep it neutral. Like, you know, you can see Crips and Bloods have friendships where it wasn't like that back in the day. Even with Chicago, they out here, they, they out here pushing peace. A lot of these inner cities, they following Chicago, Philly included. So with them following, with Philly being a, 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 a city that for these younger generation got influenced by these people. But then you see people like Tay Savage and them come home that came home from beating bodies and stuff like that. They out here squashing beefs, pushing peace, FBGY main. That's the stuff we need going on in the city of Philly. We need more Tay Savages, FYBJ main. If y'all feel like y'all going, you know, be following the, the Chicago trend, that's how it need to be getting carried. Because as much as people might say something about, you know, um, you know, trying to throw shade on Meek, it's like how marketable really is the artist in Philly? Because, you know, this is an investment that these people was doing. People already looked at Philly sideways back from when Beans was in it, going to shows, punching people in their mouths and stuff like that. And seeing that Jay-Z couldn't control Beans for real, for real. But Beans was just trying to be loyal. But people scared of Philly, bro. Look, like everybody, like if the date, a, a label gonna be like, damn, I, I'll give you Medell 
how do I know for a fact that this rapper right here that's young popping in the city is not going to be dead or in jail within the next six months to a year? So it's like when you are a part of that younger rap wave, you don't even got to be a drill rapper just to have a popularity. You have certain people around you when you get put in a certain section. The only way to do it is independent and get it off of the internet because labels is not going to want to invest. And half the time, labels is jerking people anyway. But I got to say, man, peace and paradise, man, once again to Fat G's. It, it, it's real messed up. And, you know, people like, you know, um, academics, man, I, I can't knock you because you don't come from what we come from and a real person would know deep down inside you don't care about nobody but yourself you dig what i'm saying you already got rich off of the culture um you know you're not from america and you a square but you know when people see that you hitting numbers that you getting millions of views and and that you got a lot of bread you know, people was going to follow suit, you know, so people was going to, you know, run to who they feel as though is the most popular. But, you know, the fans, y'all, we, we, we got to do better. We got to stop trolling because a lot of these rappers and people, they do pay attention to those Instagram comments that they do. And when you a man, sometimes you can easily feel like your back is against the wall and then you act off emotions because it's like damn everybody think i'm a sucker hold up when you know that at, whether you a millionaire you know that when you was in the streets it was a certain way but you made it out and sometimes you don't want people to get things twisted but you know these people likes we playing with man when we do all this trolling and joking on these internets you know and, and and telling people that they won't slide that they not outside it's nothing outside if you're not getting to a bag when you stepping outside what is you stepping outside and chilling on any any hood if you 35 and older you shouldn't be standing on nobody block if it ain't no money involved but you know this the hood blogger man that that's all i got man it's very unfortunate man let me know what y'all think about the fat g situation and um you know yeah it, it's no more to it man a, another young king got his life taken another you know young brother that was trying to help people that didn't even get a chance to you know to get to where he needed to get in life so he could have saved five families he could have saved five people and those five people could have saved another 10 but once again man it's a repeated cycle in the city of philly bro yeah, I mean, SV Twist the hub blogger.